is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who has found himself targeted. Um, I'm here in the kitchen that I'm blessed to be in, and I just want to show you what I'm eating today. What we have here is like a pizza thing um, made out of pita bread and a little bit of chicken and some couple kinds of cheese, kinds of cheese and um, some uh, I took some time to mix these things together earlier uh, lemon juice with lemon oil of course butter, salt uh, and uh, some Mexican chilipote peppers that are really hot and make your eyes water and your nose run. And uh, let's see what else we got in here in the goodie box. Uh, we got our Rico garlic. And I've been eating garlic like recently as much as I can possibly stand. And I've been frying that garlic up with the chili poli peppers and some butter and yogurt and cream and uh, orange, uh, apple, excuse me, lemon juice and um, also sun-dried tomatoes and uh, a little bit of honey and some of my pink uh, Himalayan mineral salts and what else did I put in it? <coughs> Um, oh yeah, thyme, uh, parsley, um, I don't know, yeah, chili peppers, basil, basil, um, chili powder, thyme, uh, what else, we got tarragon, and, uh, uh there was something else, uh, red pepper, crushed red peppers, and, um, no, not mustard, but anyway, it's a couple other things, um, and my, my point is, uh, I don't have any rosemary, I wanted to get some, but my point is, I, I wanted to make medicinal, medicinal food, you know, food that is, um, excuse me, food that is going to stimulate my body's ow, immune system somehow, uh, food that is going to make it as unpleasant as possible for uh, these invaders to actually continue to live inside of me, in my pores, and I mean at least the ones that I can comprehend and deal with. Um, so, you know, I've been trying to uh, take some ivermectin regularly, but in small doses because I'm so toxified. And also, um, I've been making, like, you know, fresh squeezed orange juice and mixing that with, um, mixing the orange juice with, um, beep, 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 with uh, lemon juice and, um, see the memory is going and uh, cranberry juice it's one of my favorite drinks um, is, is cranberry juice with lemon uh, with a little bit of lemon juice and a uh, little bit of ice and some fresh squeezing, squeezed, squeezing, squeezed, whatever, freshly made orange juice that has not been pasteurized into battery acid. Um, you can actually make a battery using orange juice and uh, aluminum foil and a couple other things, but whatever. Uh, for me, the vitamin C. Now this peeling thing, I mean this this juicing thing is cool. I had a good juicer. We found one of those, you know, three hundred dollar juicers 
somebody threw out because the switch didn't work and I rewired it and everything, but and our last house and all the chaos and you know, I, I I'd like to believe that the man we lived with had nothing to do with this stuff, but you know, who knows? It got thrown away. Uh, not by me, not by Petra, but so you know, that really kind of sucks, even though I didn't use it every day because I couldn't afford the fresh fruits and vegetables. There were, you know, several occasions where I used it and made big batches of... Oh, it really sucks, man. If any of you guys have a, a juicer, extra juicer you don't need or you don't want, considering donate, consider donating it to us um, because live food, live food juice. Um, you know, I, I have a hard time eating vegetables and as my teeth are falling out, I'm gonna have a hard time eating anything. And so I'm trying to create a diet for myself, knowing very little about nutrition or <laughs> anything um, that is medicinal and supplemental and vibrantly and I know that drinking vegetable, fresh, frozen, extracted vegetable juice is one of the best things you can do for your body, actually. Um, especially, you know, because it's got all the concentrated life force. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Bee pollen. Um, I've been eating bee pollen now uh, for a while since I was blessed to get a gift certificate to the store that carries it. And bee pollen, to my understanding, uh, contains all of the required nutrients, uh, amino acids, protein, sugar, all that stuff, uh, you know, basically to sustain human life, according to what I've read. And if you're not allergic to pollen, some people are deathly allergic to it. It is a delicious treat. I mean, really, it is so good. It just, it, especially if you get, you gotta get the fresh pollen that's in the refrigerator section of your health food store. Um, and it comes in, in uh, all these little tiny grains of multicolor you know, from each flower, and sometimes I like to sit down and pick out a handful of the pollen, instead of just eating it, uh, you know, in a handful, I'll separate the colors, purples and reds and magentas and orange and yellow, pink, and, uh, I mean, you know, almost all the colors of the rainbow there, and each one has a very different taste because it comes from a different flower and um, although the usually when you buy fresh pollen it's from hopefully you'll get it from one uh, one beekeeper one aviary uh, and you know so that it won't be geographically distributed um, local grown stuff, I guess, is supposed to be better or more alive or something because it hasn't been transported as far. I, I really don't understand exactly, but perhaps it just has to do with the vibrations. I don't know. I would think one would want food from all over the world, food that contained vibration or, you know, uh, from, from every place. And since um, we know that water... Uh, is has an emotional memory. It has the ability to um, actually change its crystalline structure um, in response to human emotional input. Um, there's Dr. Emoto, something or other, Japanese guy, who discovered by speaking to water and thinking at water and putting words on water and then flash freezing the water and looking at the crystal structure that it makes that um, 
harmonious, loving thoughts produce harmonious, beautiful crystal structures, and uh, destructive, hateful, hurtful, vengeful, angry thoughts produce misshapen, uh, awful, strange crystal structures. And uh, as I mentioned this, I would like to, you know, as I talk about this, I'd like to speak briefly uh, about my um, experimentation and, and looking at the microscope, looking through the microscope at uh, biological samples that have come from me and from other places. And uh, I know that um, I have been exposed to uh, huge doses of her hallucinogenic type uh, compounds, alkaloids or whatnot, uh, during this targeting, uh, covertly. I, I was not aware of it at first. It went on for years until it became so obvious that there was no other explanation. And they sort of told me too, you know, and, and they tried to make me all afraid of it. But you see, thank God. Thank you, Lord, that, that I, in my earlier life, uh, even though these people basically came into my room and drugged me and used very powerful hypnotic induction techniques to get me to become a, you know, user of substances, um, they completely changed my, my life because I was... 180 degree dead set against all that stuff made my parents quit smoking anyway um, because of that because of my programming and desire to do such a thing thinking it was my own idea uh, I had had experience with these types of compounds in the past and you know, who knows, perhaps it's some connection to a shamanic tradition or maybe some past incarnation or perhaps even that's supposed to be one of my things, uh, tasks, I, I don't know. Uh, but having had some experience in this realm, uh, it didn't completely destroy me, although it did do some damage long term and also changed, you know, forever my understanding and perspective of the universe. Um, you know, there are things to be said about the things that you can learn from these compounds. And, um, I completely forgot the reason I was bringing this all up. Anyway, uh, Thanks for watching, and um, God bless you all. Really, thank you. God bless you.